So we're going to start with the building today. And before we start with the building, we're going to find, we need to put those windows back on because we lost, I lost some of them when I was painting. Uh, so to put them back, you know, instead of trying to figure out where, how they are, like the, the angle of these windows, instead of, of guessing, we're going to find the vanishing point. And it's very easy to find the vanishing point. You take a ruler, you place your ruler at the bottom of the building, right there, draw a line, then same up top, wherever you can find a straight line, could be the roof, roof line, it could be a trim, anywhere. So let's say it's right here and it doesn't have to be accurate where the, I'm gonna draw a line right there. So where these two lines meet, that's my vanishing point. I'm gonna take my ruler at this point and I am going to adjust my trim if I want, making sure that the ruler is always on in here, on one point here, this point. And I'll just go like that, turn it down, move it down, move, move, not turn, move it down. And you will get another line right there. Again, down. Down. To the second trim of the building right there. We are simplifying the windows on the side. Um, now I'm gonna go down and I think one more time. And then the windows go all the way down, not really all the way down actually. Wait, to the trim, trim of this window here. They connect with the trim, that line right there. Okay, now, now it's easy. Now I'm gonna take my ruler. I'm using a T-square. I'm gonna take my T-square, put it here, and just draw vertical lines. Just vertical lines right there. And that will give me a, you know an idea where the windows are and they will be in the right perspective. Just keep going like this. And it doesn't have to be exactly the same numbers of window, exactly the same. Don't forget there's a big tree happening in front of that coming in front and uh, just kind of um, a suggestion, but it has to be a good one. It doesn't, it shouldn't, you know, like uh, the right perspective at least, even though we're working on a small right there. So I'm gonna go, even if I don't, even if I don't, if I, even if I don't wanna do these lines, I can at least know when I'm painting the angle of my windows. Does it make sense what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to pause for a minute so you can do that. Okay. So let's work on the rooftops. Uh, it's not going to be to, I'm not, we're not going to do like a defined, you know, we're just going to put a suggestion of the rooftops, except for the one in the front, these, but the ones in the back, just a suggestion. So now, we have sap green, cerulean blue, and white. And take sap green, mix it with cerulean blue. Now I'm gonna add white to this, and that will tell me if I have the right color or the right value. Oh. Yep, yeah, or the right. Um, Yep, 
yeah that's that that's that's good that's good if i need to go darker i'll go darker or lighter but for is now it, that's it, perfect is it more green than blue yes it, yeah it's a greenish blue yes yes So in the back, I think I need more white. It's gonna dry darker. I'm gonna go with a bit more white. A little kind of bluish. Greenish, um, little kind of um, line that goes across. Another one that goes this way. Right now, I'm not looking at, I'm really not looking at rooftops. I'm looking at shapes. Just, just whatever we put in here, it doesn't matter. Honestly, it doesn't matter because we're going to get, we're going to put um, a tree in front of all this. The only reason I'm doing this, I'm doing these rooftops, is just because once we put the tree, I don't want any gaps. I, I just want these little kind of greenish, greenish bluish um, um, pieces look, or, or um, shapes to show through. And, but I'm... And it's just the, it's just the foundation of the root tops, not the peak, the like the peaks of the windows and. No, no, just the foundation, just the rooftop, nothing else, no windows, nothing. I, even even it's they're not even in the right place, and they're not even in the. In the right. Amount. I have less in here than what's in the actual picture. I'm going to come closer and it's here. It's another one here. A little bit right there. happening is this a, a fire alarm oh, no. that's some, a house is being built about a block from my house and that's the banging on the metal frame oh wow yeah it's all day i have my windows open that's why we can hear. oh okay you want me to close them no 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 i, I was just wondering what it is don't worry yeah. about it no problem I'm going to take a little bit of more white. I like the top of that one here and a little bit here.
streaming. Dreaming of a squirrel. Take this one here, has a little bit more um, blue in here. I'm going to pause after this so you have time to do this uh, part. I'm highlighting the part that's in the front, um, just the front, you know, front blue green in here. And I'm going to take a little bit of white right now and put some. Because you know acrylic dries darker, so um not sure if I'm gonna bother with all the little um lines in here eventually. We'll see. Okay. I'm gonna pause. Right. So now I'm going to glaze the, the two buildings in the back, taking the same color of the roof, adding water to make it a little bit more transparent. But you know what? I'll add a bit of white because um, I don't want it to look exactly the same as the rooftop. I'm going to add a little bit more white. Yeah, that's better. This is much better. Doesn't have to be all the way, but it it's it looks way better with the same color. Just a bit of a glaze. All right. Let 
let's work next on putting windows because we can't paint the walls of the building before we put some of the windows there and it's easier when we put the windows then we we paint the building itself um, if i put a wash of the building right now i'm gonna go over the windows all the lines i had before so it's better to put those windows so we can see them now take burnt umber this is burnt umber and burnt sienna the two colors that we put initially I'm going to start from the back. So you, you know, what are you using? Burnt umber and burnt sienna? Burnt, no, no, just burnt umber for now. Just Actually, burnt umber. In this, yeah, in this area, don't worry about anything. Just put burnt umber. Shapes are not important because I'll show you what we'll do. We will highlight anything that we want to highlight. Just put burnt umber for now. It's easier this way. If we do it that way, it's easier. There's a lamp post that goes through there too, right? Mm, yeah, lamp posts, trees. Uh, there are a lot of things in there that we're gonna be. It's gonna. It's going to cover all of this. Burnt umber. What am I doing? Burnt umber. I'm not going to see any of that by the time we put the tree. But if we're putting branches and we can see some of the building between the branches, that's what we're trying to do right now is just kind of make it interesting um, just because we're going to see the some of the uh, some of the buildings. building detail between the branches. Otherwise, it's not that important, really.
I'm just looking at where the darks are going to be. And I'm just putting some burnt umber in here. Okay, so from the back, I really don't know what's happening because I, I can't see it, but I'm just going to put some lines. You know, there's uh, there are um, iron staircase outside, from the outside of the building on this side. And there's it's going to be a tree in here, so... We're good. I'm going to start from here because it's easier for me to see you. So is that, I'm sorry, for the windows, is that just, is that just raw umber? Yep, just raw umber. Nothing else. Right, so in, in the picture itself, I really can't see in the reference what's happening in here. So I'm just going to continue with a couple of windows like that. Like this. So it's easier for me to... Make them thinner. Make the line thick thinner when you go to the back. I'm going to come here and then do the same. And I'll show you what we're going to do as well to get some depth. in the windows. The more I paint, the bigger they become. So I have to be careful where I'm putting my lines. At least my lines are kind of okay. You know, the angle. Because what we did before. Because of what we added before, they look okay. All right. Hmm. We're going to fix some of these when we put the burnt, the burnt sienna.
if if my lines are not right or wobbly or whatever, it doesn't matter because I'm I'm going to be using burnt sienna in between. So I'll fix all of that when I'm done. When I start wor working with my with the burnt sienna. All right. Let's now put one. Okay. All right, I have dark windows here. The one in the at the bottom. Again, now let's go back to this right here. So I'm gonna follow kind of what's up happening up 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 here and just bring it down. I think the windows are the same. You're not doing the ones in the front, you're only doing the ones on the side? Yes, I'm just working on the windows on the side. I'll move to the front once these are done. The front, are they going to be burnt sienna too? Uh, the ones in the front? Yeah. No? Okay. Some of them will be, but not all of them. Putting shadows and stuff like that in a minute for those in the front. Okay, um, okay, I'm going to do this. Connect these. I'm going to add, wait. These windows in here. And those in here. Hello. And some in there. OK, so now I'm going to move to the window right next to it. And I'm just going to go down. Oh, angle is wrong, but that fixed now. And the one next to it. And there's a line that goes down as well. Again, one more. What's that line that's going down? It's the uh, side of the column. It's like a wall. It's like a column. Um, I'll show you. I'll show you on the um, on the iPad in a minute. Or actually, should you? I should show you right now.
It's for you to know what it is. See that dark mm -hmm. shadow in there? Mm -hmm. That's what it is. You see that? See that line that goes all the way down? No? I have That's... a different I have a different reference picture. I know. You do. I know. I know. I'm following um I I'm not sure if I sent you this or I sent everybody that one, but I sent something like that, no? With the initial No, could you send that to us? Sure. Yeah, I don't I don't sure. have that. Just I yeah, okay. Right, no problem. I will send it. Um just for now. Uh let's do that for now. Just very simple. Simple, simple um lines going through all the way down. It's not the the angle of the window is much more important than these things. All right, let's do that. Okay, now the rest is just kind of like this. Nothing, just a, a, a bunch of um, lines in burnt umber. And as long as they're going in the right direction in the or perspective, then we're good. Again, down, down, here. And I think there's a door in here, um, main entrance. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't see you got a lot of windows going in there. Well, but I just don't put them see, just put them at all on my reference. Yes, yes. They're not they don't show on the reference. And, and, and the door part any... is like and the door part is like above. You well, got a lot of windows. Yeah, don't worry about that. There's there's no there's no way uh we're gonna paint put paint all of these windows that they are in the in the building, especially the side. So that's why the build, the building is going to be um, painted here. Uh, and that's why I'm putting a lot of windows. It's just a suggestion, it's nothing. It's gonna be here, There's there will be a tree and there'll be a lot of stuff. In the reference, this this part is really dark. Very well, that, dark. That, that's got a two story entrance right there where you put all those windows. You're going into detail, I know. You're going too into detail. I I don't I, I wanna I'm just kind of trying not to show too many details in there. I know there's a door. Yeah, I guess the question is, are you eliminating the door on the side? That's is what I did. The side, that's what I did. I eliminate yes, I that's the main that's the, the main door. door. That's the front door of the building. I know. Too. Yeah. I just removed it. I removed it. I know. Because we're not in at the end, this is not the it is the focal point, but it's we're not painting it only, we're painting the building with the surrounding, so we're not really working on only painting the window. Um, not, not the window, I mean, the, the building, sorry, the building. Otherwise, if we were painting the building, then we would have zoomed in more. Now we're painting these, the ones in here. One side, it's gonna be wider than the other, the other side. And right here at the top, there's a little bit of a detail. 
So architectural detail. And even with that, I'm not going to go into detail, too much detail in here. There's crazy detail in there. So I'm just going to kind of uh, put a suggestion only. All right, move down. Side. And this side. Again, this side is on an angle, so you will see more of the window, side window. And that one here, you'll see more of the side of the window because of the angle. Again, Neil, I'm sorry, I have to go. I've got an appointment. Sure. Okay. Okay, okay. Paula, we'll see bye, you. Bye, next Paula. Week. Bye, bye, Paula. Bye. Bye. Right. Okay. Now again, right here. And we're going to give it a bit of a, um, a little bit of that upper detail. And again here, I know I'm going fast. I just want to kind of um, get to this part. Um, so next week we can do, finish this part so next week we can do more. I'll do this and then I'll pause the recording. Yeah. Are the upper parts of those windows curved or are they straight? Other part of the windows. Yeah. The top of the, of the windows at the bottom, are they straight or are they curved? 
I think it's they're straight. Okay. They're not curved. They're straight. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's good. Let's stop for a minute. All right, we're going to put the door here. And we are going to put like a a little kind of arch on top, kind yeah. of. That looks good. Okay. So once we start uh, painting the, um, working on the painting, I'll uh, go over. Okay. Let's do that. Yeah, it does look good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, so I'm going to take this, try to take this window out if I can. If I can't, I'm just going to put a uh, burn sienna over that when I do the uh, door, when I put the, when I'm painting the building, the walls. So it'll be fine. All right. There are two trees in the front and I'm going to put them. <laughs> I'm going to start putting some of the trees this way. I don't have to waste time on something that I'm going to be covering anyway, eventually. So one of the trees is right here, the front one. Put some water in this. Okay, all the way up. Gonna go all the way up. And it becomes smaller, narrower. Some branches coming out. And I'll deal with the rest of the branches after. I just for now just want to put the trees right there. So I'm not wasting time working on the, the building and coloring the walls, putting colors and everything and windows. Mm -hmm. This way. Yeah, this way. We know. That um, there was a tree. There's another one. And I think this tree is wider than what I'm putting. Okay, let's go to that one. The one on the left.
Whatever I can put over the building, the better. Branches on the side, side of the, because this way there are a lot of details that I don't have to deal with. Okay, so once we put the, the color of the building, the, the burnt sienna, it will look good. We can put the first layer if you want, or, or we can wait till next week. In the reference I'm sending you, you see a lot uh, more of the street lights, which I think I like. I think I like these uh, lights. Should put them. Okay. Because there are uh, stairs in here and the tree is not covering all those stairs, I'm going to go darker with burnt umber. Okay, so we will go darker with burnt umber all over here. Uh, and then what we'll do is we will add a little bit of kind of lines in burnt sienna or in, you know, bit of blue and that will kind of um, get rid of those details in here so I'm gonna go like this okay mix in mix in some burnt sienna And I'll open up and I'll put some detail with um, highlighting, with a bit of highlights. Okay, let's go down with burnt sienna. I'll show you in a minute. There are a bunch of stairs in here, outdoor, outside. Stairs that... Down here, I'm just gonna keep it burnt sienna at the bottom. forget this is a nighttime kind of reference it's not uh, it's not daytime so a lot of the details on the side are not showing so now what I'm going to do I'm going to take a little bit of white put it in my burnt sienna and burnt umber in this area here 
and I'm gonna give this area here a little bit. Actually, I it's better if I wait for it to dry. But this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go like this. It's it's much better if I wait for it to dry. It will look better. Before I add uh, more like highlights. When we start using a bit of black, I'm going to add more dark in here. And this will be where the steps are, the stairs, the outdoor, outdoor stairs. This is where we're at this week. Next week, we'll put some more detail. 